welcome to practicals under computer aided engineering course and today we'll perform experiment number 7 which is stress and deflection analysis of any machine component using 3d elements and we are going to take this uh, component uh, for uh, analysis you can note down the uh, dimensions so let, let us jump to the ANSYS workbench screen so now the problem belongs to static structural so I am selecting static structural as an input select it uh, keep the left button pressed and uh, drag and drop in the main window now in under geometry right click and uh, select design modeler so now it will go back to design modeler uh, so that we can create the geometry uh, wait until uh, it fully loads the module now uh, see the units uh, are in mm 50 20 mm so first we'll change the units yes now under units change it to millimeter and uh, select xy plane right click and say look at so that uh, xy plane will orient towards us next is under sketching select two circles or draw two circles okay one is for uh, big end and another is for second uh, small end okay like this and under dimensions tab already generally selected keep as it is select the first circle and select the second circle and at the same time uh, select the center of first circle and the vertical axis and again select the center of second axis and again vertical axis okay now change the dimensions according to the sketch 50 25 the diameter is 50 okay and again uh, 30 this one is 30 yeah and the center distance is total 140 so I am taking this as a 70 and this one as so as a 70 okay again in the sketching uh, go to the draw uh, module and under draw again select the circle and draw the smaller or inner circles okay like this again go to the uh, dimension and select the dimensions okay like this yeah now the smaller circles have the dimensions 25 and 15 so this is 25 and this is 15 okay next uh, again uh, we have to go to the draw module and select the line by two tangent okay and select the first circle and second circle it is uh, it will create a tangent line again select the first circle and second circle and the bottom line is created now we have to e uh, eliminate this unwanted uh, sketch so go in the modify tab under modify there is a trim option so select the the edge that you don't want now we see the uh, the edges are going yes now the full sketch is fully ready so go back to the modeling under modeling select create option extrude and for this extrude we have to select a sketch number one which is below the xy plane so select this sketch and uh, go in the geometry say apply and uh, create uh, the uh, or give the input uh, uh, of thickness so the thickness is uh, so they have mentioned so you take it equal to say 10 mm okay and again go to the extrude right click and say generate now see this is how the the model is to be prepared now again close this so file close design modeler it will return back to original window so under this window again select model right click and say edit yeah now geometry uh, is visible so under this mesh option uh, we can uh, do the auto mesh but uh, uh, when we do it it will create a mesh using a hexahedral elements okay 
so i'm uh, saying that i i want to change the type of element so i'm uh, taking it to be method under this method select the geometry say apply and here uh, uh, under method option i am selecting equal to hex dominant okay so let us check uh, first how the results are affecting uh, when we select hexahedral elements now uh, under static structural uh, sorry under uh, for the mesh select the mesh right click and say generate mesh now it will create the mesh with hexahedral elements okay like this so now this is a not a good quality mesh but we'll see how the results are affecting so uh, go in the static structural insert and select the uh, fix support option and uh, fix the inner face of the bigger end okay so select that face and say apply again in the static structural right click insert force and now you have to select the smaller end inner face okay as a input say geometry apply and change the uh, defined by uh, force which is a vector currently to component and uh, see the component it should be in the x direction so give the input as a 1000 in x component okay and in solution tab select insert deformation total and again insert stress equivalent stress okay and right click to the solution say solve now it will use the hex hexahedral elements and solve this problem okay now it is ready with the solution so let us check the solution so click on the deformation and uh, see the deformation maximum it is showing it is double not 218 and uh, equivalent stress maximum equivalent stress it is 7.1199 okay now uh, for same problem we are going to change the mesh to uh, tetrahedral okay so delete this mesh right click and say delete again uh, in the mesh insert and say method same geometry you have to select again and uh, in the method change it from automatic to tetrahedrons again uh, right click to the mesh and say generate mesh now it will create the mesh using triangles uh, or or not exactly triangle they are tetrahedrons and again uh, on the solution right click and say solve so it will solve the uh, same problem using new mesh okay and again uh, for total deformation see the value has changed it is now double no, double not 22 earlier it was double not 21 now it is double not 22 and for equivalent stress now it has reduced little bit now it is 6.38 earlier it was 7. Point something okay that's how the uh, experiment number 7 uh, can be performed thank you for attending